Welcome into the news portion of DSI. I'm Jordan Kudish. Pfizer is announcing a new drug for COVID-19 patients that was 90% effective in stopping serious illness and death during their study. The new drug, which unlike other treatments, is in the form of a pill. It's a powerful antiviral, and in the study, less than 1% of those taking the drug after testing positive for COVID-19 required hospitalization. Dr. Jim Trumbull from Tidal Health Peninsula Regional's COVID Response Unit tells us if the findings hold up on review, it could be a major turning point in protecting immunocompromised patients. These are the people that are the highest risk. They are the ones coming into the hospital. So if we've got an intervention that we can give in these first couple of days when they start having symptoms, you get tested, you're positive, you can get started on this medication pretty quickly, then <clears throat> you've really got a, a, a huge opportunity to not only keep them out of the hospital, but prevent them from dying. Dr. Trumbull says these results from Pfizer are still internal and is excited to see if they hold up after peer review. And now we're going to toss things over to Chief Meteorologist Daniel Johnson for a look at your weekend forecast. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Jordan, thank you very much and happy Friday to everyone. A little bit breezy here on the boardwalk, but a quiet night and a chilly night. Weather watchers calling in with temperatures in the low to mid 40s, but a lot of spots already down into the 30s. Check out Salisbury 39, Cambridge is 36, while Georgetown is sitting at 35. And this is much colder than where we were last night at this time by about 5 to 10 degrees. Winds are calm out there, and those winds will begin to pick up in intensity tomorrow. A northeast wind on Saturday at 10 to 15, and those winds pick up even more on Sunday. So a little bit breezy over the weekend with highs in the upper 50s. Now, the breeze is expected because of a coastal storm that will stay well offshore, but it will get close enough to provide us with some extra clouds and some breezy winds this weekend. Just a few of those clouds pushing in tonight, mid 30s, but there is a frost advisory in effect for a good chunk of the peninsula. Uh, Wicomico County, Sussex, over towards Dorchester, inland Worcester and Somerset County under that frost advisory overnight tonight. Clouds continue to thicken up into your Saturday with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s and a little bit of a breeze. Look at Teddy. I love this picture of Teddy. Thank you, Catherine. If you're walking your dog on Saturday, a little bit chilly early, you'll need that sweater. Maybe you can take the sweater off during the afternoon. Still a little bit cool with highs in the upper 50s. And again, we're going to start to see more clouds build through the day. Uh, we do have small craft advisories in effect for the Atlantic and the Chesapeake Bay. But notice some of the clouds. Again, just a partly sunny sky on your Saturday. Not completely cloudy at all. We're going to see some sunshine. And then on Sunday, we will start to see maybe a brief shower or two, especially along the immediate coast as that coastal storm spins offshore. But it's going to be well offshore where we're not going to be dealing with much rain at all. And there will be a good amount of cloud cover at times on Sunday. Don't forget to turn those clocks back tomorrow night before you go to bed. Daylight saving time comes to an end. Check out next week a nice warm up upper 60s with sunshine. You are watching 47 ABC. Keep it here. DSI will be right back. Hi, uh, my name is Akeem Al. I play running back at James M. Bennett High School, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.